Hey Pisces, good afternoon, good evening. I think it is after six, so it is evening, but we still have sunlight, which is, uh, I love this time of the year. And then eventually, guys, it's gonna be getting dark at like 9, 9.30. I love this. It's so weird because just because of sunlight, for whatever reason, it seems like you just have that extra energy, but during the fall months and all that stuff, it's like 6, 6.30, 7 o'clock, and it's dark, and you be thinking you're tired. Well, you're really not, right? I don't know what that is. But anyway, Pisces, happy birthday. Oh, I got a soul on me. What is that? What happened? I don't know. But anyway, guys, happy birthday, Pisces. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you, right? It's somebody's birthday today. All right, Pisces, my birthday is the 20th. It is coming up. It's the last day of Pisces, first day of Aries. I am on the cusp, right? All right, Pisces, how is your person feeling about you? This is the bay before anyone else messages, right? How is your person feeling? And then we're going to see what your angels have to say about it. I just saw 111. Holy Spirit for Pisces. As soon as I said angels, there it was. All right, Pisces, life is too short not to have you in it. Let's do one more. Ooh, Pisces, I want to marry you. So life is too short, Pisces, not to have you in it, and I want to marry you. So Pisces, we're going to go ahead and see what your angels have to say about that, right? As you know, they see it all. They know it all, the angels. Holy Spirit for Pisces, what's going on? Angels, any advice for Pisces within the next few weeks? I don't know if you've been in touch with your person. If you haven't been in touch with your person, maybe they're going to reach out to you within the next few weeks. If you are with your person daily, day to day, you know, whatever you got a rhythm, they may ask you. You know, they may tell you, I want to marry you within the next few weeks. But life is too short not to have you in it. So something is going to happen, Pisces, within the next few weeks. Your angels are calling for you to have trust. Trust the person. Trust the situation. Trust the energies. Trust, trust, trust. Right? And then one more for Pisces. And then wait. There's trust and then there's wait. So you're going to have to wait on something. All right, Pisces. Let's put some tarot on this. Life is too short not to have you in it. The angel says something's going to happen within the next few weeks, Pisces. So if you haven't talked to them, they're going to reach out possibly. Your angel said trust and then wait. I don't know if you are to trust them or trust what they're telling you or you should trust your own intuition, right? So it could go either way, but your angels are telling you to wait either way. What's going on for Pisces? Something could be ending in this person's life with the world card in reverse. Something's definitely ending in their life. They're holding their energy back. They... They could have been played. They could have been used. Whatever this is, Pisces, it is the Ace of Cups in reverse. So they're taking their love back from a situation. Either that or things end up between you and this person and you pulled your energy back. Somebody was definitely up to something, though, with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. But it definitely stopped the love. So Pisces, I don't know if this is with you or with another person, or if you stopped it, we're about to find out what's going on, Spirit. Something ended in their life, Pisces, because now they have the Wheel of Fortune. They have it, it's in the upright, so they're able to go forward, move forward in their life. 
and they're quite hopeful. So it looks like something ended in their life, possibly, and they're pulling their energy from it. It looks like they could have been used or something. Yeah, there was a tower in their life. There could have been a tower in their life. Yeah, they're leaving somebody out in the cold, Pisces. Somebody's getting left. Somebody's getting left. They're not putting in any more cups. No, no, no. This is Eight of Cups in reverse. They could have a fear of change. They could also be holding themselves back as well. But they're still hopeful, Pisces, if they're coming towards you. This Eight of Cups could also be someone trying to hold them back. But they have the Two of Wands. They're trying to figure out which way they want to go. And Three of Pentacles. I guess they want things to work when they come to you. They want things to work. Whoever they're walking away from, they're not they're not pursuing that anymore they're not going after it anymore holy spirit clarify this world card in reverse for pisces what ended here what happened something was definitely unbalanced with this person they could have found out that somebody was given to another person page of swords in reverse deception so your person could have been deceived misused and abused Spirit, clarify the page of pentacles in reverse. Two of cups. They could have found out that their person was given to somebody else. Offering their love to somebody else. Or this is what they want from you or with you. They're going to offer you their cup, Pisces. Because they feel it's going to bring them balance. Spirit, clarify this Ace of Cups in reverse. This is a King of Pentacles. They're taking their love from somebody. Or something didn't work out for them. Not only is it the King, but it's also the Emperor. So they know what they're doing. They know, you know, they know what they're doing. They're standing fast. They, ooh, child. Holy Spirit. Clarify this tower. Queen of Swords in reverse. Nasty, mean, negative, angry, right? Yeah, they're in the thing. Lovers in reverse. This person could have cheated on them. Because it was definitely on balance. It was definitely on balance. But they've healed from it. Pisces, your person healed from whatever went down with them. They healed from it. And now they're following their intuition. And I guess their intuition is bringing them to you. Holy Spirit. Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, whoever this Eight of Cups in reverse is, it's also the Six of Swords in reverse. They have a fear of change. Something's going on there. They, they have a fear of change. They were cheated on. Overindulgence. They were cheated on. Holy oh, Spirit, two of wands, because they're confused about do I stay with the past or do I go with the present or do I just, you know, five of swords? They were betrayed. They were betrayed. So with the two of wands, they're still confused about do I stay or do I go? No, they're going to end it, Pisces. Death card. I guess they just had to think it over a little bit. But it's the death card for sure. And they have regrets. They have regrets. It's like they wanted it to work with this Three of Pentacles here. And it didn't. So they do have regrets. Five of Cups. 
but they're not up in their head anymore. Like they, they, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. They're releasing this devilish energy, whatever it was holding down with this person. They're releasing that and they want their justice. Pisces, so life is too short not to have you in it, eh? Spirit, clarify within the next few weeks. What's happening within the next few weeks? Queen of Cups. There you are, Pisces. They're going to reach out to you, Pisces, within the next few weeks. But they're not standing in their strength. Maybe they don't know how to approach you or they don't know what to say. Spirit, clarify this trust. Seven of Pentacles. Maybe the two of you together can reap your rewards or whatever. Or they could have be reaping reward from something that they've done in the past and it's coming in. Or you. The spirit said trust. Seven of Pentacles. They feel manipulated. Your person feels manipulated. They feel manipulated. Holy Spirit, clarify this weight card for Pisces. Page of Wands. They said wait, Pisces, because they're coming. Page of Wands. They're coming. But they don't have full clarity on it quite yet. Like they're not quite clear. But they're coming. Yeah, they're changing. They're in the midst of change. I think they're still working on themselves. Spirit, clarify I want to marry you card with Pisces. Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings. Abundance, all of that stuff. So they do want that with you, Ace of Pentacles. They're not happy right now. But they do want this opportunity with you. They're not happy right now. And then two of pentacles. They're still up in their head. Either that or they're trying to get their life in order. They're getting their stuff in order. Spirit, is there anything Pisces needs to see in regards to this person? It's a new beginning, Pisces. They want a new beginning with you, for sure. They want a new beginning with you. They could be ending something, a four of wands. I don't know if they was married for some of you, but it's the four of wands in reverse. So they're definitely ending something with the queen of wands in reverse. Their person cheated on them. They cheated on them. Holy Spirit, queen of wands in reverse. And it was just too many burdens. So Pisces, it looks like your person's gonna have to get themselves in order. Yes, they may come to you and say life is too short not to have you in it and I want to marry you. That doesn't mean you're going to get married tomorrow. You know what I mean? It's just them putting it out there and letting you know how they feel. But action speaks louder than words. So if they follow up on it and you trust it enough, why not, right? I mean, I don't know what happened between you and this person, but um, they want you, I guess. You know, people, we go through things, trials and tribulations, right? Maybe they met someone after you and it just didn't work. And now they're realizing how much you really truly mean to them. And they're coming back. So Pisces, your person is coming back, guys. Mm. Within the next few weeks, they'll definitely be reaching out within the next few weeks, right? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.